Guys, welcome to Kingfisher's YouTube channel once again. Today I'm going to be doing tips and knots. Okay guys, I'm going to be doing the Rapala knot today. A very simple, very easy knot. Works phenomenally well on monofilament. Um, I've got my rattler lure here for demonstration purposes. I've got some very thick nylon. Um, I'd never use such thick nylon when I was actually tying a trace, but this is for demonstration purposes only and for you to actually see. Put my glasses on. What we're gonna do is a little granny knot. So it's basically an overhand knot, like so. There we go, there's your knot. This Rapala knot works well on hooks, trebles, anything where you need a lot of movement. So we take our rattler, we go through the eye. We then take the tag end and go back through the monofilament, the, 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 the granny knot that we tied. So there we go, you can see it there. Punch it with your fingers. Wrap the tag end around four times. So let's go one, two, three, four times. Take the tag end back through the loop and the other piece of nylon. So if you have a look here closely, you'll see there's a loop and another piece of nylon. So you wanna come through over there. It's as simple as that. So you just go straight through. If you can see it, I'm just gonna pinch it there. So you can see we have gone through. We then pull gently on the actual nylon and the tag end. You'll see how it's kinked over. Bit of lubrication. Pull tight. So I've basically pulled it tight. I'm gonna take the tag end, cut the tag end off, and there's your Rapala knot. And the reason it works so well is it leaves a loop in it, so there's a lot more movement. And that's why we use the Rapala knot, to give us a lot more movement, whether it be in a hook or in a lure, the loop is the important part on the Rapala knot. There it is. It's as quick and simple as that. 